if you are just starting with Blender, here you have 10 basic tips. If you go to edit mode and select an area, you could hide this area by pressing H. If you want to isolate that area, you need to press Shift H. If you want everything back, you just need to press Alt plus H. If you want to change the pivot point in Blender, you need to go to Edit Mode, select a point like this one, press Shift S and select Cursor to select it. Go back to Object Mode, right click, set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. If you want to see the different views that Blender has, you could try different things. The first one could be Control Alt Q. With this, you will get the top, front, right, and perspective view. Another way to do this is by pressing F4 and select horizontal or vertical split. And then you could use the new view as you need it. and move the corner to collapse this one. To completely delete a material, you need to go to the object, click on the arrow, and then click on the other arrow, and then delete the material that you will see here. And as you can see, the material is gone. If you want to create a target for an object, like this camera, we need to select the camera. Go to Object Constraints, select Track to, select the target object, change it to minus C and up to Y. Now you could move your object or your target and you will have this result. You can add materials to different parts of the same object. For this, let's create three new materials. Change the colors. The first one will be the base material. Select the second one, go to edit mode, select an area, and then click assign. Select a different area and click assign, and you will have three different materials for this object. You could assign a new area for the different materials.
if you want to work in linear color space you could do this by rendering in open EXR and then you could treat your image in a compositor If you want to create clones of an object, you could use the array modifier. You could add different array modifiers to an object, so you could create grids of clones, like in this example. I create an array modifier for X, Y, and Z to create this grid. If you want to create clones on a surface of an object, like this sphere, You just need to select the object that you want to clone, go to Object, Relations, and select in Parent the surface. Then go back to the object that you're using as a surface, go to Object, Instancing, and select Faces for example. Another way to do this is by adding a particle to the object. Let's select the object, go to Particles, New Particle System, and select Hair. You could change the numbers, then go to Render and change it to Object. After that, select the object. Now you could select the cloned object and change the rotation in Edit Mode. If you want to share or move a blend file to a different computer with all the textures that you have, you need to first go to File and Save. After that, let's go back to File, External Data, Pack All into Blend. Now you can move your blend file to a different computer without losing the textures. If you want to see the texture file, you just need to go to File, External Data, Unpack All into File. Here you have two ways to add textures to your objects. For the first ones, you need to have activated the Wrangler add-on. So let's go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and activate the Wrangler add-on.
Now let's go to the shader editor and add a material. Now select the principal shader and hold Ctrl T. You will get this node and now you just need to add your texture. Delete the nodes that we just create and for the second option let's select the principal shader and click Control shift t with this now you can select all the textures that you need for one object like normal maps diffuse maps metallic and so on and everything will be connected to the principal shader I hope you find these 10 tips useful.